So let's get down to it. So Kiki. What happened in Texas, you guys? So we we're just doing our normal thing. My Kiki paused. What do you mean so I, Kiki? I think they like, thought we was going to do fault. like a smash and grab or some shit like that. Like because we walked in in all black with like hoodies on. And, like I don't know what the it fuck was, they said. They, I heard El Policia. You said El Policia. You said that? check it out so we went to texas i had some shows with struggle jennings and tommy vex on the god bless the outlaws tour brought dj kiki with me Everybody, we gonna do it like this tried to walk in my shoes and they couldn't take a step tried to hit my weed and they couldn't take a breath they never had a job but i always got a check and i can fuck your bitch if you want to make a bed like ooh, i made off like a That's what we do while we're on the road and touring for my shit. We'll go and uh, thrift, fucking thrift, baby. of course, during the day, you know? So what we did is hit a couple local spots like we always do. And we came up on an ape. I think that's like that's like a ape, downgrade ape. off of vape. Vape. That's like, that's some like, that's like, that's like vape. Michael Coors of Versace. Michael Coors it's like, owns Versace. So it's like, yeah, so it's like, like that, I think it is. So we came up on that. No, I think we like, looked it up. We looked it up. I was like, it said three hundred. It said like three hundred dollars. So I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna grab this shit. Fuck it. Here, check it out. Ooh. Dead people shit. Which way are we going? The right way. No. I think it's the right. Um, YouTube channel. Sure we got a YouTube channel. Dead people shit. Make sure to check it out. You want it now? All right. It's a rough night. It was We're a headed out. Night. It was a Thanksgiving night. You know which way you're going? We got the Uber. It doesn't flip. You can't flip the camera. You okay. Gotta, you gotta show them later. We got okay. an Uber waiting for us out here, and we're about to. We gotta get Kiki some I warm clothes because it's cold yeah. in Texas. Yeah. It's cold in Texas. Get in, ladies first. And we are headed to Kiki's favorite spot. And what is that called, guys? That is Goodwill. The G O O D W I L L. What would you do without the Goodwill, Kiki? Probably not complain about it. Anyways, like I said, we're gonna get her some warm clothes. We're no, gonna see we're what gonna we can go get up. some vintage. We're getting vintage. Vintage. Freezing. It's 36 degrees in the morning. In Texas, they're false advertising. They no, told everybody they from California said, oh, to come here. They're like, hey, we've got the three coldest day of the year, and they happen to be the days y'all came out here. Anyways, I got a show tonight at the Wildcatter Saloon. Also which, seen on which might be out outdoors. It was seen on Bar Rescue. Bar Rescue. If I can find a, a clip of the Bar Rescue with the wild catter, I'll put it right here. The stress test is the most important part of a rescue. Look, you'll be out of Brian Ty's house tonight. We're open for business, so come on in. No time. What can I get for you? Two Don Julio margaritas? Two Don Julio margaritas? Two sours and a burger. Guys, you need two seconds and I'll be like, what do you guys? Something you need to. You can taste them before you actually pour them. Okay. Okay? Let me ask you an honest question. How many of you guys gave up on this bartender and moved over to this side? Yes. Yes. First day. Mixie, that's not good. Everybody pointed to this side of the bar. Let's go. Hey, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to Wildcat of Saloon. Why don't y'all come on inside? Yeah. Oh, how are you? Good okay, guys, time to hustle. Three nights ago, I called it for the first time ever a catastrophic failure to a complete 
perfect opening. The bar nailed it. And now Jeff pays off his million one. That's what a bar rescue is all about. So anyways, guys, <clears throat> I'll see you in a second. And it's another Goodwill, just like all the rest. Ladies first. Okay. Have fun. Blake can. You find any vintage? Nope. Straight mid. All new clothes. Three sixty cam. And I always hit these racks as they come out and bam, bam, bam. Yeah, uh, we had one of our uh, bigger clients hit us up and say they were looking for some uh, vintage Russell um, sweatshirts. Vintage. Found one of those. Found, found that. Um, so we've been picking up some of those because people are looking for those for blanks. Cause you guys know that all of our all of Blake's merchandise is on repurposed blank vintage blanks. So we have people who are also hitting us up for those. So we've been acquiring. If you got vintage blanks, hit us up. Hit us up. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, so we got to go to Bucky's. All right, guys. Here we are at Bucky's. Bucky's. Yeah. We've never yeah. been here. Pablo, we took him, we took first, first time. time. Come on, so, we took him to In and Out last night. So he's taking us to Bucky's. He's today. putting us on to Bucky's, you guys. So let's get up in this bitch and see what it's about. We got to meet Bucky. Babe, oh my God, look it. Why am I freaking out? They have a whole mascot. Move, move. Why am I pumped? Ah, and it's just like Santa. Why am I freaking out? Like it's like I'm at Disneyland. Hold on. The moving mascot. Oh my God, that's what I'm saying. He's like dressed up. Hold on. Do I get a picture or what? I'm going to Oh, this is so cute. Look. Oh, my God. Ah! Yes, Pablo. so we met Pablo. We met a new friend, Pablo, who we've only met through like online correspondence. Shout out to the Bubble Hive. Bubble Hive. You work social Pablo, media. Yeah, Pablo used to work media. for the Bubble Hive and social media and does all of that for them. And so um, Pablo picked us up and was basically like chauffeuring, tour, uh, tour guide, um, just basically took us around, showed us he everything. He helped us with merch. He helped us work. He's part merch. of the team now. He's, he's part of the gang he's now. He's gang gang. So he, he took video, he took photos, he, entered, he took us to Bucky's. We've never been to Bucky's. He, we met Bucky. We met Bucky. Photo. Santa Bucky. Photo. So you guys should have seen it on the. Um, the thumbnail because that's all of us at Bucky's having a good old time. Um, and then we took yes. him, we showed him in and out for the first time. All right, it's about midnight. We just left the Blake Bank show, Struggle Jennings, Tommy Vex, all that. And what are Pablo, we doing? He's about to try in and out for his first time ever. Yeah, okay, you pop the, the shake. shake. Hit the shake. Hit the shake. All right, time. here's the first sip. What's it? What? What's Okay. That thickness, like, that thickness. Oh my gosh. That, what flavor? Yeah, Tell the folks what flavor. Okay. This is a chocolate shake from In N Out. It's probably the one of those. It's thicker than Water Burger. And it tastes a lot better. Yeah. Okay. No cap, no okay. cap, no okay. cap. Okay. okay, so the shake's better. So the shake's. The shake is better. The what about is better, than, better than McDonald's shake? Oh, hundred times better than McDonald's shake. Okay. But you know who's really on the on the urge of competition? Who? Who? Steak and Shake shakes. Man. Okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! We're gonna have to like, cause we're about to test out the burger. We're about to test out the burger, and the burger is the real deal breaker. The burger is the deal breaker, right? Yeah. Oh, bro. Damn. Bro. This oh, is about man. to. I'm about to ruin your life, and I'm sorry for this. Reveal the fries. Reveal the fries. Oh. This is in and out for the Pablo's first time. Pablo's first time. All right, so which one's Pablo's? Y'all's is the same, mine's the one without. These Tomato. Two, these two are the same. Okay, Pablo. So which one? Right here, get him. Here I am. Here I am. Ooh. Now I'm a regular, right, so go. I'm just gonna. It's 
better than White Castle, I promise you. Oh, it's definitely better than White Castle. The mukbang. Midnight mukbang. Midnight mukbang. First time. Mm. The flavor. Is it? Yeah, yeah. In the spread. In the spread, in it? Mm. Yeah? Spread. Out of 10, what do you I, think? Who's fucking with it? What company is oh. fucking with it? This is unique. <laughs> Yeah, Woo! Yeah, right. It's its own. It's its own thing. We ruined its life. It's where good burger. Where are you gonna find a cheeseburger at, though? Yeah. Who else? In and out. That's what I'm That's saying. It. Who else? That's Who it. else has one like this? In and out. Yeah. Shit. Oh my God. It's like Jimmy John's with the subs. Mm -hmm. Can't beat You're him. not. You can't. You can't compete. You can't <clears throat> go to Jersey Mike's and expect to get a Jimmy John's. You know what I'm saying? You can't. He ate in and out for the first time. We have it. We showed him it. We, we showed him. It. We he, popped he his in and out cherry. He ate, yeah. he ate, he ate popped, it. We popped Pablo's cherry. And then, uh, what else? We showed him Korean barbecue for the first time. Which yeah. I feel like we've been doing that to a lot of people lately. Showing them stuff. Um, what else? Um, and we took him thrifting. And he was even, he took some of the video, thrifting and all that. Here we are. Kiki, where are we headed? To Texas Thrift. thrift store. I'm gonna in tell him. Austin. We're in Austin, and it's cold here. We got Pablo with us. It's about 46 in Austin, wet and rainy. It's about a damp 46. We're gonna hit up Texas Thrift and uh, see what we can come up with. Stay tuned. See y'all later. See y'all there. It's a big one. It's a big one, baby. It's large. It's large. Everything's large. What do you think? It's pretty huge. It's pretty Look at it. Look at it. And they're hiring. And hey, y'all, they're hiring. Now hiring. Damn. Come on, y'all. Oh, it's so cold. They're hard. Count the hipsters. Count the hipsters. See what we got. It's so big. Oh. Down there. All right. Good luck. I found them. You already found something? All right, you two, we didn't find anything here, so on to the next spot. We are now at Hope. Let's hope we find some good shit. Free land right there. All right, here we are at Hope Family Thrift Store, you guys. Let's check it out. I read this one should be good. It's pretty big. This is actually really cool. They have all their paper and poster goods here hanging so you could grab those up. That's super cool. Little Macy Gray look. You guys thought we were gonna come out and the cops were gonna be waiting. We struck out. Those, those consecutive times. Two times. All right, let's go check into our hotel. Let's go. All right, guys. It's about as fuck out here. But as you can see, I'm at the Goodwill, next to a big ass truck. The weather, the weather has took a turn for the best. It's sunny. The, the leather jackets are off and we're up in the Goodwill. Come on, Pablo. This is like pregame. 
All right, Levi's. This is what Kiki taught me. So, we have the 501s, and then you want to check in here. You want to find the American-made ones. So, look at obviously when you look in the tag, they, these aren't made in America. See, so this is a quick way to skim them. You know what I mean? Like for the 501. 501s, American-made or not? I mean, you want them to be American-made. American-made. So none of these are 501s, but you would find them down here in Texas probably a lot. But the T kids will still buy ones with uh, like holes, paint on them, and shit like that. Yeah. And you can still sell ones that aren't 501s because like, they got a lot of good things here. Um, you can sell ones that aren't 501s because kids that don't have money to buy the 501s will still buy the. Arizona's? You ever had a pair of Arizona's? Arizona jeans? Hell yeah. <laughs> I right. think those were the ones my dad used to buy. Really? So my first flip was a starter jacket that I just got as a for a gift because it was cold season up in Illinois. And I remember I, would, I needed some money. I was high, in high school, needed some money just to go out with friends. And I listed it, but I come to find out- Listed eBay, it on what, eBay? On eBay and okay, on okay. Facebook Marketplace. Um, and turns out the jacket was worth like $300. And I got oh, it which free. one was it? It was a starter's Cubs jacket. Okay, like okay. Vintage, nice. blue, perfect, perfect shape and perfect condition, no, no, nothing wrong with it. And I only wore it once. And cause I wasn't a big fan of puffy jackets at the time. This wasn't the pullover. Oh, 200 bucks. 200 so bucks. would you, would you do this again after seeing the profit? 200 bucks just right there out of something you got for free or $3 at a Salvation Army. Why wouldn't I? If, yeah. that, if it's something that I can, it's, it doesn't take a genius to do it, but it's just hard work to do it, man. Yeah. I don't know. I think honestly, you've been with us. We str we struck out it like the last three times. You yeah. know, we haven't really got shit. So you know, and it's just we haven't got shit yet, but it's fun. And Pablo, fun. we're on the way. It's we're another another Goodwill. We're you on the heat. Takes, we got him addicted. Goodwill number two of it the day. We got a show tonight in uh, Austin, Texas, with Struggle Jennings and Tommy Vex. Uh, come and take it live. We got Pablo rolling with us. He's our Texas representative. You need anything in Texas? You hit up Pablo. Yeah, Pablo you need Ayala, marketing, CEO marketing. On tell him, tell him, tell him. Hit me up at, in, in, on Instagram, Pablo Ayala CEO, as you heard. Yes, and he can get you right for all the marketing needs for your company, so you can be like dead people shit and make millions of dollars a day. Thank you. Okay, so Goodwill number one with the big loud truck was a no go. Struck out. So we're down the street at the other Goodwill in Austin in what is this called Puffer, Pufferville <laughs> so let's see what we can find here you guys Hello. boom it's big in here at least we're not leaving empty-handed you guys we're restocking on some blanks because you know all of the t-shirts at blankbanks.com are upcycled vintage blanks for you so shop blankbanks.com right now to get your Blake Banks Risky Business t-shirt with the limited edition artwork on it. I told right. Kiki we will hit all your favorite places that I can find. And today, Every we have already single good Goodwill. Goodwill, so this is the third one. And this one's got to be the one because there's a violinist out front. So that's, that's a good sign. Yeah, right. <laughs> He was really time. getting into it. We love it. Every time we're in Texas, we're definitely going to be. Um, I hope to you guys see us with Pablo. So, so, so let's get down to it. So, Kiki, what happened in Texas, you guys? So we're just doing our normal thing. My Kiki, pause. We didn't even say I, Kiki. I think they like, thought we was going to be like fault. a smash and grab or some shit like that, like because we walked in in all black with like hoodies on. And, like I don't know what the it fuck was, they said. They, I heard El Policia. You said El Policia, you said they said? It was raining. Okay. We were wearing, only me and Blake were wearing, I was, okay, I think honestly, I don't know. Uh, it might only even me wearing all black because I'm always wearing all black. You might have had like a red flannel on, a gray sweatshirt, you know what I'm saying? I have, um, I'm a jean jacket, right? Jean jacket. I'm not a jean jacket. I'm a, you I your mean, leather, leather jacket. Leather ja we all Remember. had a leather jacket. Remember you had a leather specific. jacket. Whatever. We had, I had a black hoodie for sure. 
We walk into this one, we're thrift store, thrift store, thrift store, we're thrift store hopping. We're taking Pablo thrift store hopping. You know what I mean? We're showing him what it's about. He's into it. He's videoing, like I said, asking us questions. How do we do this? It's actually really like getting to be a very in-depth episode of like, you know. Oh, it, was, it was a good one. It was really juicy. There was a lot of meat on the bones. You know what I mean? Pablo was really bringing a lot to the table for the game, you know. And then we walk into this one thrift store and it looks promising. I'm like, ooh, this is gritty. It's freezing, mind you. So. I have gloves on and I walk in and I'm like, hey, cut the footage. So then when I cut the footage right there, right, I stop the phone. I take off my gloves. I think they think you were stealing gloves. And I put, I was standing in front of the counter. But either so way, like. They could yeah, see me. I literally for purpose was standing in front of the counter just because like in my head, like I was like, I want to make sure so they don't think I'm, I'm just, I'm. I'm they aware, said, El Policia, you know, and people are not smart. Like, so I'm like, so shut up. So then I'm, you're, you're rushing the story. They want to hear the whole story. Okay, tell the story, go. I, so then I put my gloves in my bag and I have my phone out and I'm walking up and down and I'm doing the little footage. And then uh, Blake and Pablo, they're all doing the t-shirts and Pablo's asking Blake questions. And then I'm just doing the aisles. And then I, I realized that this like, woman is kind of following me by the sound of her heels i hear the heels 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 and i'm like that's so weird like i can hear them following me so then I'm, i start listening in on what she's saying mind you she's speaking spanish and i only know broken spanish like i can understand more than i can speak it back so then she's describing people and saying like yeah 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 they're still here i'm watching them and i'm like that's weird and i'm thinking it's just a lady on the phone so then she starts describing they're wearing all black. There's three of them, two men and a girl. He's a gringo. And I'm like, what the heck? And I turn around and she's like, and I, when I turn around, she like looks right at me. The flama blanca, so he's like, returned. What the? So then she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hold for the police, like policia, something like that. And I was like, what the heck? So I go and tell Blake and Pablo, and I'm just like, look, guys, this is what I heard. I heard the lady say Fuck this, that, that and the and other. She said police was coming. We was out that bitch in like I five said, seconds. No, that's not what happened. I literally walked up to them, and I said, you guys, I heard the lady say this, that, and the other, and I think she's calling the is cops on us. You're calm? Yes, because I was yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked up very quiet. It might even be like, I might even, you might even hear me whisper on the fucking thing, because I wasn't trying to be like, this bitch trying to call you know what I mean? I was just trying to do all that. All right, I was trying to just... Keep going, keep going. Keep so... The story's good. The story's good, right? So then I literally was very calm about it. And I wasn't even trying to turn around and be like, excuse me, ma'am, do you have a problem with me or anything? Or any men continue shopping if this is the case. Because one, I just don't have time for the cops. And two, I had a half ounce on me. And I don't know the marijuana laws in Texas good enough well, to talk myself breaking. out. Dude, honestly, she might not have even thought that my that it was me putting the gloves in my purse that weed is so loud from california that that shit could have just filled this thing and she could have just been like anti-weed and been like drug eyes drug eyes i didn't hear her say drugs i didn't hear her say stealing i didn't hear her say thief or nothing like this that or the other but i did hear her describe a female two men wearing all black and so i was like i just don't have time for this today you guys i got weed on me i'd rather smoke it than spend the rest of the day Figuring out the laws in Texas. I like how I get to hop in and out of this. This type. Like you like going, yeah. <laughs> and I will list the whole story, babe. Okay, so yeah, we had a great time. What was your take on the it? The shows were great. You, what, you think I, I pushed out on that situation? Should I think I should have beat that bitch ass? We go uh, back to Texas. I think they thought we was going to smash and grab the motherfucking thrift store. I don't know what they thought was going to happen. It's a thrift store. I'm not in the Beverly Center, bro. Was, I'm not was, in like YSL. I'm not in Gucci. Like, you don't think I'm on the snatch? If I'm gonna snatch and grab you guys, I'm gonna be up in a motherfucking bank vault. I'm gonna be, we'll be at a we'll car be, shop. We'll be back in. We'll be back in Texas soon. Uh, we didn't get to hit none of the rag houses or none of that shit. Uh, we were just kind of busy with There's definitely a lot shows. more places. We didn't get to go to Galveston. We didn't get to go to a lot of places in Houston. We were in Katy. We were in Austin. Austin, you guys are doing great. I love the way you guys have the city looking, even after everything that we've been through. And you guys have been closed down. There's a lot of art popping up. You guys look nice and clean. I love it. Katie, we had a nice Thanksgiving dinner in Katie. Yeah, $300 one.
Oh, happy Thanksgiving to the Instagram influencer couple. We love Texas, you guys. The crowd was great, and we're going to be back. So the best way you guys can hang out with us, if you guys know all the thrifting spots in your local area, hit us up in the DMs and, and like, invite us out. You need to hit here. You need to hit here. Tell us where we, we need to go. We have Instagram. Or don't tell us. I we got Twitter. We got YouTube, you guys. Hit us up. Another way, you have vintage clothing, old clothes you don't know, you don't want, you can email us. Send us pictures. It's right here. Dead people shit vintage at gmail.com. You're getting good at this. I am great at this. So <coughs> we've been doing this for like we're gonna almost try two years doing now, more. Babe. We're gonna try doing more recaps so there's more narration during the videos. Tell us what you guys want to see. How do you guys like the video? Do you know what I mean? We're here for you. You want us to just straight up thug we, it and just fucking just throw it up there? We're here to issue an for these likes, these comments, these shares. We want to. We're doing this for you guys. You I guys, do this shit all day. We're gonna do this regardless of filming it on YouTube. We're still gonna be in the in, <coughs> performing on the stage. We're gonna be out there performing songs. We're still gonna be in the store thrifting with or without you guys on YouTube. So we really want to do this for you. Um, with that being said, we appreciate every like, every view, every subscriber. We've been doing this. Thanks for everybody rocking with us for the past two years. It's been two almost. Almost two. It's almost two years, you guys. So shop deadpeopleshit.com. If you see the shit you like and you want it, it could be yours. You know, we're not stingy and about it. And for the record, we are the number one vintage uh, couple in the in game. game. So we just going to put that out there. We're going to put that out there. And if you don't know, now you know. We're the number one vintage thrifting adventure channel out there. And you saw and we'll it here pick first. Any other couple's ass. We'll pull up. <laughs> For real. Give us your city. We're going to pull up out thrift. We'd rather smoke some weed with you and do. thrift with you. But if you want to fucking see who's number one, you already know. Let's do it. <laughs> and until then, shitheads. Come to your city and I'll thrift you. <laughs> I'll smoke you. I'll thrift you. I'll fucking thrift your bins. I'll fucking out pull you. I'll, I'll sell everything. Let's Damn, do it. Keep talking and shit. Big right. shit talkers. Uh. See y'all on the next episode. <laughs> we love you guys. Peace out, shitheads.